What's up everybody and welcome back to my let's play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode we made our way back down to the Firon region in which Gruus followed us uh, by means of almost falling to his death. And uh, we went inside, met the old lady, she taught us how to play the Ballad of the Goddess on our harp before awakening the Imprison in which we fought back into his seal before sealing him away. And she told us to head back to Skyloft to figure out where we needed to go next and she told us to meet with someone who uh, would know a lot about the Ballad of the Goddess and so what better person to meet than Zelda's father headmaster of the Academy and so that's exactly what we're gonna do so without further ado let's just get straight into things no need to dilly dally at all we're going and heading straight back to the academy because there's really nothing left for us to do and um so yeah let's just go ahead and uh make our way all the way down here to the academy and i just realized we really don't have that many rupees uh because i thought about getting something that we might be useful to us but we just don't have enough rupees i think um but i will worry about that uh, at a little bit of a later date. For now, let's go ahead and head on inside the academy and see what we can learn. Alright, so let's head all the way over here to Headmaster Gipora's room and uh, see what he knows about the Ballad of the Goddess. Alright, so hey, what's going on, Gipora? You're back, Link. Good to see, you, see you're still in one piece. So, how's it going down there? Are you any closer to finding my Zelda? Well, sort of. Anyways, I need some help. Hmm, I see, my dear Zelda. Things must be terribly trying for her down there. It can't be easy for you now either, can it? What? You want to know about the lyrics of the song that Zelda sang on the day of the wing ceremony? You know, I'm not much of a singer. Ah, just the lyrics, don't worry. You just want the lyrics? Oh, what a relief. You put me you really put me on the spot there for a moment. I believe the lyrics go something like this. O oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky, and bring light to the land. That's the first part, but as I recall, there's a second verse to the song. O oh, youth, show the two whirling sails the way to the light tower, and before you the a path shall open, and hear and a heavenly song you shall hear. I believe that's the whole thing. The light tower mentioned in the song is a real place. I'm sure you've seen the tower in the plaza. I don't know anything about two whirling sails, though. It sounds like the song is suggesting that if one of these, if one shows these whirling sails the way to a tower, something will happen. How do you go about doing that? What does it mean, two whirling sails? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Uh, so I guess that's probably where we should start figuring out what those two whirling sails means. Uh. Because we already know um, what the light tower is, so that's no problem at all. So, uh, let's head on outside here and see what we can figure out. Uh, so, if I make our way uh, right over this way, we make our way right over here, you'll see that, um, well, that right there looks like a whirling sail, doesn't it? And uh, it's even got a little propeller on it that we've uh, seen before. Now we can even use our gust bellows on this thing right here. And uh, sure enough, it'll spin. And so I reckon that's what we ought to do. So if we turn this all the way over here to where it faces the light tower, you'll see that light on the back of it lights up. And so that's one of the whirling... That's one whirling sail down and uh, one more to go. And sure enough, way over there in the distance, you can see it peeking its head out. And uh, if you talk to Fledge right here with that gray bubble above his head, he'll just talk about um, the side quest we completed a couple episodes back. About how, like, for example, uh, we gave him that stamina potion and he's been uh, exercising as uh, hard as he can. So uh, that's all he's going to talk to you about. So no really much of a need to actually speak with him. We'll just run on by. But anyway, we head over here to this other propeller and it looks like um, Elvis is here. And it's not actually Elvis. And, um, well, would you uh, look at that? His actual name is Jekamar, but uh, I like to call him Elvis. What's up, Link? He just looks like Elvis to me. So you're curious about that windmill, eh? Yeah, it doesn't have a propeller. Pretty smart design, I gotta say. 
So you can turn the windmill so that it always catches the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. The thing just flew off ages ago. It must have dropped down below the edge, down beneath the clouds. The windmill's been uselessly sitting there ever since. I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to re reorient the windmill. You wouldn't know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller. Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there. Sure. But how would you even go looking for the propeller in the first place? When something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Well, I don't know about that now. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo with the scrap shot told me of someone in his family who used to have a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. You don't say. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Well, desperate times call for desperate measures, so, um, let's say we go ahead and head on over to Gondo and see what he has to say about that robot, though the one thing I do need to double check real quick is if we have a certain item in our inventory, indeed we have plenty. Um, I'll reveal what that is once we get it. Well, I'll go ahead and reveal it because you're going to need some. Uh, you're going to ha you're gonna make sure you have at least one ancient flower on you at the moment. If you do not, you're going to want to head back down to the Lanero region and pick up some of those. Though you should have plenty because they are everywhere. Anyway, with all that being said, though, uh, we can head over here to Gondo. And it seems as if, though, that little robot of his is right back here. And I wonder if we can talk to him from back here. No, instead, we'll have to talk to him from the front. I didn't even see that speech bubble, though. Hey, hey kid. What's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. Oh, yeah. What about that robot behind you? I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yeah. It's about that robot. Huh? It's about this old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. Yeah, it is, actually. Probably just came here to make fun of the crazy junk guy for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Not really, actually. Well, get in line. I've heard it all before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you need to pick up something from below the clouds with this robot. Indeed, I do. Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Uh, sure. Well, I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. You see, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not look that much. He may not be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another old busted. He's another busted old hunk of junk. But old Graham said, "Tell me this: you're gonna be working again with the extract from an ancient flower? It's like old of this guy. But I've never heard of, much less seen anything. Uh, take one of mine. Ooh. What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing." So this is an ancient flower, with some slick oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great. With this, we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. Phew, there you go. Thank you, Zert. I got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything. Zit. Huh? Who is this green clad individual of small stature? Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? I guess I really did fix him. Get gave me the materials I needed to fix you. Go on. Say thank you. Hmm. Are you sure it was him? Zert. Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. For chonk. Hey now, watch it. There's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul stuff around, and you're gonna help him. <laughs> this individual may have restored my operations, but I'm not inclined to offer assistance, Zert. Serving children is very low in my task party. Zzzt. Master Link. Materials from the windmill have been yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing abilities. 
Use it to locate the fallen propeller. However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you, Zertfush? Your name is Fi? Zit? Should I call you Mistress Fi? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fi? Somebody's got googly eyes for Fi, I guess. Uh, that's a little weird to say out loud. I, I understand, Vert. At your request, I will carry anything, regardless of weight or destination. Was it? <laughs> she doesn't understand. Master, we now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin for your search for the windmill propeller. Master Shortpants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mr. Spy through waves. Vert. Should you need me, ask Mr. Spy to call me, and I'll arrive with haste. Zat. How do you plan to recover all the stuff that's fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things, he's always right on the money. Yeah, I guess I could ask the fortune teller right over here. Oh no, er, hang on a second. I see you're looking well these days. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you found the time to gather all the variety of magnificent treasures. Come, come closer. The treasure you seek is my mystical vision to find the answers for you. Um, I would off ask you for help, but uh, I don't really need it. Uh, but if we come right over here, you'll see that uh, Rupin has something new in stock. It's a very mysterious shield called a Sacred Shield. Um, I am going to check this out, but we actually don't have the means uh, to purchase it quite yet. It can actually handle both fire and electric attacks. And it will repair itself when it's damaged. And it's not as quite as strong as the one we have right now, but we can upgrade it as we move on but it is 500 rupees and we don't have that yet <laughs> that's quite all right friend i've got quite another few uh, fine items in stock so why don't you take your time and look around yeah so uh don't worry once we get enough rupees we'll definitely be coming back for that a little bit later and don't worry we'll definitely be getting the means uh for that amount of money a little bit later but um if i use my dazzling ability you'll see that this propeller has fallen into the elden region yeah. So, uh, let's make our way right on over that way. Now, uh, I want you guys to very quickly think all the way back to our very first visit to the Elden region, which is really our only visit there at the moment. But, uh, like the uh, old lady at the uh, sealed ground said, uh, we'll have to make multiple trips back here for um, different um, trials that we'll need to face. But I want you to think back to way back when we first entered this area we saw when well, we found a well if you'll remember a propeller stuck in the ground near the temple entrance and i told you to remember that because it would come in handy much much later well this is that time in which it's super handy to remember exactly where that propeller is uh, but before we actually get that propeller i do want to head right up here because you'll see that there are some blessed butterflies here and so I want to shrum my harp, and sure enough, a gossip stone will appear. And it'll throw us out some Elden Ore, not too shabby. Uh, but anyway, with all that, we can run our way right down over here, and sure enough, here's that propeller we were looking for. This is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Would you like for me to call the robot? Yes, please. I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. And sure enough, here comes Scrapper. Mr. Svi, I hope you aren't waiting long. Bzzit. So, Zerpt, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Shortpants, you're on my way here. Bzzit. I said get out of the way, Vert. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long, Vert. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and click the propeller as soon as possible. Sure thing, and wow, we are right on the edge. That's a little close there, Link. 
Uh, any farther, we were probably taking a lava bath, which is uh, not going to feel that great, especially when it's actual lava. Um, anyway, I suggest we heed Fi's words and go ahead and head all the way back up to the sky and retrieve the propeller. And once we do so, we can uh, return the other wind, or we can turn the other windmill to face the light tower. And then once that's done, it should reveal the path forward. So uh, let's get a move on, and you'll see a scrapper following behind us. That'll let you know that I, uh, or remind you that he is carrying something in case you do decide to. Uh, do something else in that region while you're there. Though there is nothing for us to do there at the moment. So once we fly all the way back over here, uh, we should drop right down in front of this windmill and bring the propeller down. Here's that windmill propeller, Zat. If you need me, push clang, feel free to claw. For Mistress Fi, I will travel to any destination. Credit. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that. It is! That's the windmill propeller. The thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying the whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm, somehow I get the feeling this is all some sort of elaborate plank prank, but I guess I'll try to fix this thing up. Man, I really can't read today. This goes in here. I just crank it a few clicks. Phew. That ought to do it. If you can find someone to spin that propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey. Honey! Honey! Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I saw that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Alright, see you later, pal. And so now with that, we've only got one more propeller to spin. But this one, we have to spin all the way around. It's going to have to spin uh, counterclockwise all the way around to that light tower. But once we do that, the other one should have stayed in place. No problem, so we should be good to go. And... Uh, I want to point out that these things only lock in four locations, so once we spin around most of the way, we can actually completely stop blowing. Never mind. We can completely stop blowing altogether once it gets close, and then it locks into place. And once we do that, our pedestal uh, brings itself up out of the light tower. I guess we better go investigate. And see just exactly what that is. Uh, so let's uh, run over here as quickly as possible and figure out what's going on on top of the light tower. All right, so uh, not a very far run. Grab some stamina fruit so we can continue to rush our way over here, I guess. Though I guess we're not in a terrible hurry. I would just like to get here as quickly as possible. And uh, once we make our way up here, I do believe Fi will call on us. Or we can just pull out our harp right here. And once we do that, uh, anytime you see these rings around in a circle like that, or anything to target onto, you're going to want to pull out your harp. And once we do that, fine's going to come out, and a little circle is going to appear. So you just strum your harp, and I'm going to let you guys listen. With that done, a giant beam of light strikes the Thunderhead. In 
and reveals a path in to the inside. Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to the clues as to whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of the beam of light. Sure thing, Fi. And uh, I say we get right on to that. It won't take us very long at all. We'll just have to follow this beam. So let's do it. All right, now we're here in the sky. Let's follow this beam of light all the way uh, to the inside of this giant thunderhead, which uh, to, up to this point, we've been able to see on the map, and it's just been this giant uh, gray cloud. Though that uh, will probably change soon. Our map should open up. And we should be able to see inside once we actually make our way there. Uh, watch out for those guys down there, as well as all these tornadoes that will appear, because there are going to be a lot of them that appear on our way over to the Thunderhead, that's just how it goes. So simply avoid these and you'll be a-okay. They tend to appear in front of you, so as long as you're not facing directly into like this beam of light, we should be good. All right, now we can make our way inside. Once we do, here we are inside the Thunderhead. And uh, yeah, it's a constant storm in here. And also there's these guys that uh, chase us down and oh, yeah, they do some damage. So uh, keep careful of those. If they charge at you, try to avoid them at all cost. Uh, but uh, there's actually a goddess chest in here, and it's actually directly in front of us uh, at the end of this beam of all things So I say we go ahead and make our way all the way down here and figure out uh, Where this beam of light is actually hitting and once we s uh, get closer It's just a giant island is all We can make our way to it. It's like a giant tower of sorts and uh the only thing is I don't see an entrance, but before we even look for an entrance, I want to fly right over here because there's a goddess chest right over here, and I want to open it up as quickly as possible because inside of it is a golden rupee, 300 rupees, and that actually now gives us enough money to go buy that shield that we wanted earlier, though. Uh, we're going to wait just a bit longer for that uh, because I do actually need to find our way inside. So let's hop down over on this island here. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that this was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I'm going to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Alright, well, um, if we look closely enough, I'm going to walk right over here to, like, the actual building. There seems to be a small hole right there, but, uh, we have no means of getting over there. So instead, what I want to do is I want to grab this pedestal and, uh, move it one time. And once we do that, I actually want to line up all of these guys over here. Uh, you'll see that this moves this little rock around, and uh, once we get it there, I think I want to strike it this way. Indeed, I do. Uh, if you follow along with me, you'll notice that these stones also shift the bridge in a specific manner. Alright, once we do that, uh, I believe we need to strike it, no, to the right. Once we do that, yeah, this middle pedestal will open up, and once we do that... Uh, once we line up all three pieces of the bridge, just like that, it should just be a matter of uh, bringing it all the way around. Alright, so once we do that, we can just push it around uh, some more, and it should take us all the way around. Alright, let's keep it going all the way forward. Uh, once we get it close to this one, uh, I'll slide this one, and uh, this should be all that we need to do. Yeah, we should be done now. Sweet. Yeah, it's not a super difficult puzzle. You just have to think about it some. But once we get this here, we're good to go. And you'll see that this pedestal thing kind of sinks back into the ground. Uh, so we can't move it back, I guess, anyway. Uh, but now we should be able to make our way inside this uh, tower here. And once we do, we'll actually see that um, there is a goddess crest in here. That uh, we can actually strike. And so um, I say we do that. But I think we're actually going to do that in the next episode. So if you guys uh, did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe to the channel a lot. 
And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.